Interplanar separation. Consider a plane HKL in a crystal lattice. Prove that the reciprocal lattice vector HB1 plus KB2 plus LB3 is perpendicular to this plane. Prove that the distance between two adjacent parallel planes of the lattice is a 2 pi divided by magnitude of the reciprocal lattice vector. Show that for a simple cubic lattice, D square is equal to a square over h square plus k square plus l square. Okay, so if I have an hkl plane, first of all, I have to note that it is going to uh, be defined by uh, three points, um, a1 over h, a2 over k, and a3 over l. So the crystal plane... with Miller indices HKL is a plane defined by the points these are points of intersection with the uh, basis vectors in the direct lattice so it is a1 direct lattice vector uh, divided by h a2 divided by k and a3 divided by l now uh, we can see this here, so this is our plane, uh, A1, A2, and A3 are our uh, basis vectors, and uh, the intersections are at A1 over H, A2 over K, and A3 over L. So, um, in order to show that uh, the um, reciprocal lattice vector is perpendicular to this plane, what I need to show is basically a uh, Two non-collinear vectors that lie in this plane will be perpendicular to this uh, reciprocal lattice vector. So if I look at two non-collinear vectors that lie in the plane, And these may be taken as u and v vectors that I show here. So what is the u vector? u vector is, um, <clears throat> so it points from uh, the point A3 over L to A1 over H. So it is A1 vector over H. minus a3 vector over L. And similarly, the v vector that is non-collinear with the u vector uh, points from a3 over L to a2 over K, as you can see in the figure. So this is a2 vector divided by K minus a3 vector divided by L. So these A1, A2, and A3 vectors are uh, primitive translation vectors in the direct lattice. So we're going to take the scalar product with the reciprocal lattice vector of these two non-collinear vectors U and V. The scalar product with the reciprocal lattice vector So let me note here that A1, A2, and A3 are uh, primitive translation vectors. A1, 
in the direct lattice. So if I take the dot product with u, u dot g will be a1 vector divided by h minus a3 vector divided by l dot product with my reciprocal lattice vector hb1 plus kb2 plus lb3 where b1, b2, b3 are uh, primitive translation vectors in the reciprocal lattice. So this is going to be um, a1 dot product with b1, 1 over h and h will cancel. Then I have k over h, a1 dot product with b2. Then I have l over h, a1 dot product with b3. Then I have minus h over l, a3 dot product with b1. Then I have minus k over l, a3 dot product with b2. And then I have minus a3 dot b3. So what are these dot products? Uh, from the definition of the reciprocal lattice vector, the two primitive translation vectors, direct lattice and reciprocal lattice uh, vectors, a1 and b1, have a dot product of 2 pi. But if they, are, uh, they don't have the same index, a1 dot b2 is 0, a1 dot b3 is 0, a3 dot b1 is 0, a3 dot b2 is 0, and a3 dot b3 is 2 pi. So basically, we're using the relation between the reciprocal lattice vectors and direct lattice vectors. Ai dot product with the bj is 2 pi if i is equal to j and 0 if i is not equal to j. So this is our... Uh, result from uh, for reciprocal lattice vectors. So I conclude that if I look at the dot product u with g, it is 2 pi minus 2 pi, which is 0. Now I have to look at the vector v. So similarly, if I take the dot product v dot g, this is going to be v vector is a2 over k minus a3 over l. So it is a2 over k minus a3 over l dot product with hb1 plus kb2 plus lb3. And this is equal to a2 dot product with b2 minus a3 dot product with b3 because the others are 0 and these two are 2 pi so 2 pi minus 2 pi is 0. So my conclusion is that since the reciprocal lattice vector g is perpendicular to u vector and v vector simultaneously it must be perpendicular to the HKL plane. All right, let's move on to part B. Now, <clears throat> the, uh, the question is, what is the distance between the adjacent parallel planes of this lattice, HKL planes? So if I define a normal vector unit vector, this is the unit vector normal to the HKL plane. And 
The next thing I note is that, remember in our procedure for finding Miller indices, if you have a plane that goes through the origin, you translate the plane on the uh, XYZ axis such that you have a parallel plane uh, that is going to intercept these axes uh, at these locations, a1 over h, a2 over k, and a3 over l. And since these h, k, and l are uh, basically chosen to be the uh, smallest possible integers, uh, these are going to be the... Um, this is going to define a plane that is adjacent to the plane that goes through the origin, and it is the closest plane. So... Uh, we note that the nearest parallel plane uh, contains or goes through the origin. The interplanar separation then I can find DHKL, this is going to be the dot product of A1 over H with N hat or A2 over uh, K with N hat or A3 over L with N hat. So we can do it uh, uh, this way. And we have already shown that the reciprocal lattice vector G is perpendicular to this plane. So this unit vector n hat can be found by taking the reciprocal lattice vector g and dividing it by its magnitude so that it has a unit magnitude. So this is our n hat vector. So therefore, the distance between two parallel hkl planes will be a1 over h dot product with the reciprocal lattice vector g divided by its uh, magnitude. So this is going to be a1 dot hb1 plus kb2 plus lb3 divided by h times magnitude of the reciprocal lattice vector g. So this will be uh, h times a1 dot b1 because the others are 0 uh, divided by h times the magnitude of the reciprocal lattice vector g these h's will cancel a1 dot b1 we know is 2 pi so this will be 2 pi divided by the magnitude of the reciprocal lattice vector therefore the distance between two parallel adjacent HKL planes is 2 pi divided by the magnitude of the reciprocal lattice vector G. Okay, now uh, let's move on to part C. Now part C is an application of this result for a simple cubic lattice. So this is something we have done explicitly before. And now we're going to use this result to find the interplanar separation for a simple cubic lattice. For a simple cubic lattice, what is our reciprocal lattice vector? So that is the question. So if you remember, this is uh, 2 pi divided by a h i hat plus k j hat plus l k hat i hat j hat and k hat are the unit vectors on x y and z axis respectively and the distance between two parallel hkl planes is 2 pi from part c divided by the magnitude of the vector g reciprocal lattice vector so this is 2 pi then we have 2 pi over a square root h square plus k square plus l square. So the 2 pi's will cancel and we will be left with 
d is equal to a divided by square root h square plus k square plus l square or we can write it in the way that is suggested by the problem d square is equal to a square divided by h square plus k square plus l square okay so to summarize uh, we're trying to find the interplanar separation for a crystal lattice uh, with a plane HKL to the distance between two parallel adjacent HKL planes. The first thing we did was to show that the reciprocal lattice factor is perpendicular to this plane. Uh, to show that it is perpendicular to this plane, first I find the uh, intercepts with the x, y and z axis uh, of this plane or A1, A2, A3 axis rather. Uh, maybe it's better to say A1, A2, A3 axis rather than X, Y, Z. And um, the intercepts are at A1 over H, A2 over K, and A3 over L by the definition of Miller indices. So if I take two non-collinear vectors, U and V, a1 over h minus a3 over l and a2 over k minus a3 over l and I take the dot product with the reciprocal lattice vector using the property that the uh, primitive translation vectors uh, have a dot product of 2 pi uh, uh, if they have the same index and they're, it's 0, they're orthogonal if they don't have the same index. Uh, I find that this dot product is 0 for both u and v and therefore the reciprocal lattice vector which is simultaneously perpendicular to non-collinear vectors that uh, are contained by this plane must be perpendicular to this plane. Then I find the distance between two uh, parallel planes by noting that the nearest plane will include the origin or it will go through the origin. Uh, and uh, that's because if, this, if you start with a plane that goes through the origin and if you want to find the uh, find their Miller indices, you translate it until it's going to have an intercept with A1, A2, A3 axes at, uh, at these locations. And uh, this is the nearest plane that is parallel to this uh, HKL plane. Why is that? Because, um, the, because of the definition of the Miller indices, because we choose the smallest possible integers, H, K, and L, it is it's going to be the closest plane. Now the interplanar separation is found by taking the dot product a1 over h, so this is uh, our perpendicular distance here uh, between the origin and this plane. So let's say that this is our perpendicular distance. That's the point of intersection with the plane. We can find that by taking the projection of the uh, a1 over h uh, vector onto this uh, uh, unit vector that's normal to the plane or uh, a2 over k or a3 over l. So um, what is the unit vector that is normal to the plane? Well, because I know that the reciprocal lattice vector is perpendicular to the plane, it can be found by dividing the reciprocal lattice vector g by its magnitude. Then I take the dot product of the a1 over h with n hat or a2 over k with n hat or a3 over l with n hat. In each case, I find that the distance between two parallel adjacent places is 2 pi over magnitude of vector g. An application for a simple cubic lattice, since the reciprocal lattice vector is 2 pi over a h i hat plus k j hat plus l k hat, in the case of simple cubic lattice, when I take the a magnitude, I find that it's 2 pi over a square root of h square plus k square plus l square. Therefore, the distance between two parallel HKL planes, adjacent parallel planes, is uh, a square divided by h square plus k square plus l square.